Hi, eighth grade. Today we're doing lesson 9-6, which is the quadratic formula. And this will be our final new lesson of the year. And this will finish out uh, your algebra curriculum for this year. Our gotta check is page 568, number one. And your homework is page 571, number seven through 12. And your bell ringer is page 559, number 54. All right, let's do the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is exactly what it is. It is a formula. And it's really important that you have this formula in your notes and that you know how to use it. Um, in your books, you can find it on page 567. And the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a, okay? And where do these b's and a's and c's come from? Well, of course, they come from standard form, okay? So you have to have a quadratic in standard form, which means it's ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So that's where our a's and b's and c's come from, okay? The quadratic formula I would not recommend it you using it in all situations. It's best to use in situations where it is difficult to factor. So if you can factor a trinomial or a binomial, or if you can use square roots or some other method, do that. But when you have a situation where it's tough, um, then the quadratic formula is useful, okay? So let's try an example and see how this works. So I'm going to do the example, um, x squared minus 8 equals 2x. Okay, so believe it or not, this particular example, I personally would probably use factoring, but we're going to use it with the quadratic formula just so we can kind of practice and give it a try, okay? First thing is, is this in standard form, okay? And it is not. So the first thing I have to do is I need to change to standard form, okay? And that means that I need this format here. So when I look at the 2x, it's on the wrong side of the equation. I have to play the game of switcheroo. Since it's positive, I'm gonna subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. And now I'm gonna have standard form, x squared minus 2x minus eight equals zero, okay? Let's figure out what our A, B, and C are, okay? So I'm gonna take a look at the AX squared term. When I look over here, there's no A or no number in front of the X squared, but I know that there's a secret hidden one. So my A equals one. If I look at my B, okay, I have a negative sign here, so my B is negative two, and my C, okay, in the C position is negative eight, okay? So what I need to do is I need to plug all of these into this formula, and then I need to solve it and see what happens, okay? So let's give it a try. I have X equals negative B, so I'm gonna plug my B in parentheses, remember, plugging into parentheses saves your life. Then I have plus or minus, the plus or minus will give us our two solutions, and then I have the square root of, okay, b squared. So again, plug in parentheses, negative two squared minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is negative eight. And all of that, that whole thing is divided by two times a, or two times one, okay? Let's simplify this and see what we get. Okay, so negative, negative two, shushing, that becomes positive. So I have two plus or minus the square root. Okay, if I look over here, okay, this little piece right here, negative two squared is four. And then four times one times eight, that would give me 32 and a negative times a negative is a positive so that would be plus 32 so 4 plus 32 is 36 and all of that is divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 okay 
I'm gonna start another section over at the bottom here because I need to split it up into these um, special pieces. So I have a plus and minus. So I'm gonna do two plus the square root of 36 all divided by two. And I'm also going to do two minus the square root of 36 all divided by two, okay? So the square root of 36 is six. So two plus six, that would give me eight divided by two and eight divided by two is four. And then over here, again, the square root of 36 is six. So two minus six would give me negative four divided by two, which would give me negative two. So that means I have two solutions. My solutions are x equals four and x equals negative two. Okay, I think you're ready for your gotta check. So remember, your gotta check is page 568, number one. Pause the video and give it a try. I'm gonna erase this so we have a little room. All right, let's give it a shot. So our gotta check on page 568, number one. That would be x squared minus 4x equals 21. Okay, let's do it. I gotta play the game of switcheroo. So I'm gonna subtract 21 from both sides. That should give me an answer in standard form. So now I have x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals zero. Okay, this is great. So my a is one for one x squared. My b is negative four from the middle term and my c is negative 21. Okay, let's start plugging in. So my quadratic formula, I have x equals negative, and then I have to plug in b, negative four, plus or minus, okay? Then I have the square root of negative four squared minus, let's see, four times one, times negative 21. And that is all over 2a, or two times one. Okay, let's see what we get over here. Okay, so negative negative four, shishing, that will give me positive four, and that is plus or minus the square root of, negative four squared is 16, and shishing, that's gonna give me a positive, Four times 21 would be, let's see, that would be 84. Ooh, this is looking good. Mm -hmm. And that's all over two. Okay, so 16 plus 84, that is 100. So I'm gonna have a nice even answer and I'm gonna split this up into my positives and negatives. So I have four plus the square root of 100, all over two, and I also have four minus the square root of 100, all over two. Okay, let's do this. Square of 100 is 10. Four plus 10 is 14 over two, which is seven. That's one solution. And on the other side, four minus 10, that would give me negative six over two, which would equal negative three. So my two solutions are seven and negative three. All right, it's time to try your homework. Page 571, number seven through 12. And your bell ringer, page 559, number 54. See you later, eighth grade.